What is the number one mistake people on NoFap make? Is it the binging, the constant relapses, not listening to the advice of others or the lessons that have been presented to you? What is it? Let's dive right into this bitch. It's your host, Dean Adam, and this is NoFap Unchained. Another one. Believe it or not, binging and constantly fucking up and jerking your Jiggly Johnson and watching an excessive amount of porn is not the worst part about NoFap. The worst part of this community and people who embark on it is when you get into the paradigm of NoFap is the cure to everything. Oh shit, it's the reason why I'm depressed. It's the reason why I never got laid. It's the reason why X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, Y, G, she, A, she, 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 It just goes on and on and on. People start being like, it's my acne. It was because of, it was because of the porn. It was because I was just all the semen retention. It's that's why I wasn't able to exercise. I was always exhausted. It's uh, they start relating no fap to everything in their life, and it's it's good and bad. Now, why is it good? Because it allows them to start taking action, start changing their life around. It's bad because it's gonna restrict you when you actually want to move up a plateau, move up a level and better your life. I remember thinking that like the root of all evil was masturbation and pornography and that's why this world is so fucked. But it's so naive to think that. In fact, it's only one piece of like a 60 slice pie. You know, there's so many other factors. There's so many other things that we have to work on. It's not just NoFap. NoFap is not the cure to all the problems in our lives. It will help you. It will make you a better person, it will make you stronger, more resilient. But it's not the answer to everything. And that is key. And if you're in that paradigm, you might even take offense to this video. You'll be like, fuck that. No, it's true. This, this, that. Because that's the thing. It's a toxic mentality. It just keeps you in this frame of like, yes, no fab is everything. But it's not. It's not everything. What's key is to be very open-minded and go and learn more about other people because you're gonna find people who are incredibly functional, who have this habit that we have, who are masturbating and watching porn, maybe not to the same degree, but look at them and be like, hmm, how are they doing the things that I can't even do when they still have this shitty ass habit? What the fuck is going on? You get to learn more about others than implement the things they're doing into your life. Then you start realizing that shit, I don't know anything. I don't know jack shit. And that's when you really start becoming a wise man, someone who has better understanding as they're more open-minded and they don't cling onto a belief so immediately and identify with it. So to recap, the worst thing you can do when entering NoFap and joining this community is identifying with the idea that NoFap is the cure to everything. That is a dangerous field to be on as you now stun your future growth and your ability to learn more as a fellow human on earth. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share your thoughts below. Do you think I'm totally wrong? I could be. What do you guys think is the number one mistake or other mistakes that people in this community while on NoFap make. Anyhow, it's your boy Dean Adam, and this was NoFap Unchained. See you on the next one, motherfuckers. Peace, lates.